Welcome guys, welcome to the Premier League match today for and guys I really appreciate all my subscriber supporters so thanks for watching my YouTube videos today we're on the match today for and we got a legend player to join in the, the Devils team so I hope you get ready for, for this game I'm really hyped for the game guys so Oh, so tomorrow this will be a top four. So the top four is like a uh, who gets who who. So the top four will get at the table. So the top four will be will be up up the table league of the Premier League like that. So tomorrow it be top four. Whoever wins top four, it be a good to win this top four. So I am ready for this guy. So. I am ready for top four guys and uh for my life button for this tomorrow uh will be uh fifteen likes guys because uh to be honest with me because I I like to see hit my like buttons for my football football or my previous football uh last season or this season. So guys, okay, give me 15 likes, guys. I have appreciated it. I hope you enjoy and keep on subscribing and don't forget the Champions League is back, guys. So we are doing on the 14th because the Champions League is coming on the September the 14th. So guys, uh, I'm do doing my video on the September of the 14th because it's a part of my YouTube work, but it's not like a work. So it's like a work thing. So, so, guys, so, uh, so, predict your top four winners. So, to be honest, uh, so, from now on, so, so, we can complete all those clubs win the top four, and let's get on with the top four winners. So, we are going, going to predict our Premier League, uh, predict to win the top four. So, I reckon Spurs to win a top four, to to be honest, because uh to be honest uh those are doing well this season and no defeats either. They just did well as a top four show. I like to see Tottenham to win a top four tomorrow. Like so, guys. So, predict your top four comments. So comment on below in a top four match. Predict the top four winners. So. I would say Tottenham Hotspur, Wolverhampton, Arsenal, Manchester United, probably Man City, Burnley, uh, so, make sure, comment down below in the top four prediction with winners, so I would say Tottenham Hotspur, Wolverhampton, Arsenal, Manchester United, United, I think Manchester City because uh, maybe Brighton and Hobie Abbey and uh, West Ham and Chelsea, then uh, probably Liverpool. I predicted this season. Then who's Bunny playing? Because I want to know. Okay, so I predict I went into win a top four and Liverpool. So that's my prediction of my top four of my winner. So my 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 pre pre prediction of a top four winners would be Tottenham Hotspur, Wolverhampton, Arsenal, Manchester United, Manchester City, and uh, Barton, Hove Abbey, West Ham, and Chelsea, and and Everton and Liverpool. This is all my winners in the top four tomorrow league. So guys, I really appreciate it. And give me a fifteen likes, guys. On my and comment from below your own production on your top four production. So guys, we have a big news, guys. What's going on here? We have a big news. Cristiano Ronaldo is back from Manchester United. What a legend! He's glad to be back at home at Old Trafford. I want to see a. Uh, Big, big thank you to Christian Ronaldo to come back to home. 
well that's okay but that's what I'm doing because he did so well uh so we have a big new so the legend is back from the old Trafford. About uh Cristiano Ronaldo, he he did so well so far and he's a great legend player. All the coaches they were excited about Cristiano Ronaldo's coming to Man United. That's unreal guys. A big news for him. What a what a legend. Cristiano Ronaldo is coming to Old Trafford. I'm looking forward to see him on on a castle match, to be honest. Because this is big news, guys. Christian Ronaldo is back on the Manchester United so I think they might win the top four. To be honest, it's good to see him back at home. So we are we are looking to forward to see Christian Ronaldo come back and he's a total legend player. So hope to see him after Saturday tomorrow game against Newcastle. I'm looking forward to see Christian Ronaldo do so well. He 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 scores just so well in the Portugal so far, they beat Ireland, they beat the uh, Corta, I think, yeah, I think, I should buy some, I think, yeah, oh, I think they're playing, yeah, that's how I want to know, so, Christian Ronaldo is back to Manchester United, I'm looking forward to see him on a Saturday match, what a legend, Christian Ronaldo is coming back to Manchester United, I'm looking forward to see that match, what a player. Hope we see him at the end of the game against Newcastle. I'm I'm looking forward to see him. So guys, can't can comments on below about so comments on below. What is your reaction about Cristiano Ronaldo coming to my United? I'm looking forward to see him. What a reaction from for Ronaldo coming to my United. So please comment on below your reaction about how do you feel about Cristiano Ronaldo and but back to Manchester United. I'm looking forward to see him. What a legend guy. He's coming back to United. So hope we see him in a Newcastle match. So hope they get there. So my prediction on ups will be okay, but don't mind if I do. And let's get on with the score prediction. So guys, comment on below your reaction to Cristiano Ronaldo's coming home to Old Trafford. Let's get on the game. So the first game is Tottenham against Crystal Palace. So about Tottenham Hotspur. They beat uh Watford. One in win and also I think it was two 0 I think it was yeah, I think it was two 0 Yeah. I think it was one 0 two against Man City. So they beat Man City with a but, but that's okay, but I'm not a Man City supporter, but that's fine. So, I'm looking forward to see Chris and Vanal back to Manchester United. And so, so, so many reaction about Christian and Vanal coming to Man United. I'm looking forward to see him. So, let's get on with the game with Crystal Palace against Tottenham Hotspur and let's get into the game. So, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing the match. So, match back. Crystal Palace are winless in the last 12 Premier League main teams with Spurs since a 2 1 win in January 2015. The Eagles have scored just four goals in this one, failing to find the net on eight August seasons. Tottenham have only failed to score on one of the 12 Premier League away games against Crystal Palace during so in. I uh, have 3 0 defeat in January. Trust and Fly Spurs have netted exactly on each of the last five games at Shelfhurst Park. Crystal Palace are set to become the first side to a start tough flight campaign with four consecutive London derbies. However, the Eagles are ringless in the last 11 such a games in, in, in the Premier League. Tottenham have started a late campaign with Three wins and three clean seats for the first time in uh, history. Only four teams have ever begun a top flight campaign with the four wins and no go go scratches. Aston Villa and uh, Matty Hans with one. It's Bay Rich Town in 1974, 75, Chelsea and Quick in 
in 2005, 6, I'm not sure who's shooting in 2016, 2015, 16. Chris Pillars have managed few shots, 20 on, um, few shots on a target five than other team in the Premier League position. However, the Eagles did score with both of the efforts on target last time out against West Ham. Tottenham are looking to win five consecutive Premier League games for the first time since December 2018 under Mauricio Pochettino. However, Spurs have lost three of the last five Premier League London derbies as many as they had in the previous 16 such games in competition. So, but that's our good fact about it. So, I'm looking forward. And do, do you know what? Carla Gallagher just left uh, West Bum 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 Sabin and is coming to Crucial Palace. And they have a tied with West Ham at 2 2. Conor Gallagher is doing. Doing great so far. He's so on fire. This guy is a very good, uh, good to leave West Bromwich mean, shopping for good reason because he wanted to go to the Crystal side instead of the the West Bromwich side. So we 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 are glad to see uh, uh Connor McGonagher to come to Crystal Palace. I'm I'm looking forward, but I'm not sure on Crystal Palace. I'm just going to show on the Tottenham so far. So, they might win, uh, but it's so tough to say uh, in a lot in dobbies. So, Spurs lost off the lot in dobbies against Crystal Palace, but that's a good reason. So, they had to win a top four back. So, I would say, uh, this is tough one. So guys, I would say uh, a clean win to Tottenham Hotspur because they did so well so far. So maybe I, I would say, uh, well it's quite tough but I don't know what it's going to be. So let's wait and see. Yeah, but it's tough to guess it so maybe a uh, 3-1 win. Yeah. But, but that's fine. We won two Spurs because they because they lost uh, a clean seat in Dobby's and London Dobby's match. So they have to win in this again. So London Dobby. So they lost a uh, London Dobby a long time ago. So I would say a clean three one win. So that's my prediction. Next game is Watford against Wolverhampton. Oh, I think it's. Quite easy for the Wolves, but not for Watford. But, but it's quite quite tough to say in this league. So depends who's gonna win this game. Match facts. So the so the so so do you know the so so you guess get this up. It's called one football, and but do do not use a uh, bet bet three six five. You have to be eighteen or seventeen. Or something, so you you must get it with an uh, an adult permission to get this up, because it's about betting your own club to win and earn a money to win this bet. So that's so that's so that's the point, guys. But you have to be eighteen. So uh, so let's go. So, yeah. This game is Wolverhampton against Watford, so this will be the fifth Premier League meeting between Watford and Wolves. Well, each side winning two a piece so far. Wolves have won two of the last three away league games against Watford, as many as they had in the previous thirteen visit to Fackers Road. Watford have won each of the last ten home league games, the longest ever winning one of Fackers Road. The Hornets have kept it clean, sitting in a swamp, continuing just uh, three goals since beating Liverpool 3 in February 2020. Wofford haven't 
haven't kept a clean sheet in the NA over the last 13 Premier League matches. Also, find the score at 1 6 Okashis in this one. Wills have thus have lost each of the last six Premier League games, losing each of the last four despite having more shots than their opponents each time since Tosno 3 4. Only West Bummy Shabin has lost more cons- consecrated pe- Premier League games despite our shooting uh, opponents each time. 5th in 2010 11. Wolves have had 57 shots in the Premier League this season. The third highest tally, but I yet to score. So that's my fuck about it. So my prediction would be Wolves to win because quite comparative of this game. So I will say, yeah. Uh, so. I think Wolves was lost by a Spurs so because I think I think they have to get a, a proper chance to win this. I would say maybe a cling 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 score. I'm not going for nil also boy that much. So I, I would say worth to win the If they come back I would say four nil. That's my prediction two will so I would say four away on two will Hampton. So that's my prediction guys. So next game is the Garners will face the Cowboys. So the Garners so here's a fact about Arsenal. So they lost a few games on their really good inside, beaten by Chelsea, Manchester City, and the first game. But that's on, and they beat by uh, Brentford. So, Brentford beat Arsenal, Chelsea beat Arsenal, Man City beat Arsenal. And that's only all guys. So, poor, poor, poor Arsenal uh, being uh, losing a few games this season. But it's not good for that club. So, I think they have to get this this second chance to win this. So, I'm up for the Garners to win this. So, my, my fact, so, Arsenal have lost this two of the 18 Premier League meetings with Norwich and are, and are unbeaten in seven against the counties. I won and lost in October 2012 since I was winning 4-2 at Highbury in the first Every ever Premier League match in August 1992. Norwich are wingless in eight away day games against Arsenal. Considering 24 goals, not one. Arsenal have scored at least three goals in the six of the last seven home league games against Norwich, winning 4 0 in July 2020. In the last freshman team, this is Arsenal. First 3 p.m. Saturday game in a Premier League since June 2020. When I lost 2 1 at Brighton at home, the Gunners are unbeaten in the last 26 games in a kickoff slot. slot. Since a 3 1 loss against Aston Villa in August 2013. Only ones in their history have also have lost the first four league games. To decision doing so in the 1923-24 top flight campaign. The Gunners have never failed to score any opening for the games before. Norwich have lost the last 13 Premier League matches by an aggregate scoring of 34-2. Milan, the counties, the counties are also winless in the last 23 top flight matches. Play, played in London since the 2 1 victory at Spurs in April 2012. So that's my fact. So I'm going for an Arsenal win because they, they lost a few games against the first game against Brentford, then Chelsea and uh, Man City. Yeah.
I don't think it was. Oh, oh pardon. Yeah. So I think they have to get get this chance back. So I would say to this. So you'd say the Arsenal a clean win, but not too much. But let's say he was a score be. So then in twenty twenty, if this is on wheel, guys. I'm gonna for a four nil victory. Four nil victory to Arsenal because they lost a few games against the the sweet clubs they've been bitten so far. So they need a chance to win a four nil victory. Because I, I'm looking forward to see this match. So next game is is Manchester United against Newcastle United. So what a legend of Christian when I was coming back to Manchester United. I'm looking forward to watch this match, but I'm, but I'm not watching it. But to be honest, but, but, but I'm going to show one of the best moments in the last game he played for them a long time ago. So the legend is back. Christian Ronaldo is a great player, and, and I'm looking forward to see him in at Old Trafford. So let's kick on with this legend, Christian Ronaldo. Manchester United have lost just one of the last 36 home league games against Newcastle with the defeat. That defeat coming December 2030 under David Moyes. One of the old Newcastle have opened in a screen in a six of the last eight Premier League meetings with Manchester United. But have gone on to win just two of those after losing three of the first six league games last season. Manchester United have lost a uh, further three in a subsequent 35 Premier League matches. Nick Castle have taken 10 points from the last 15 available away from home in the Premier League. So they did loss lose last time at at Aston Villa. The Mike Pice have earned just nine points from the previous four two available on the road. Manchester United have scored at least once in the each of the last fourteen Premier League home games. Nineteen forty times in total two point nine per game. However they only kept three clean sheets in that one that he conceded sleeping at least in the age of the last six at Old Trafford well Cristiano Ronaldo's last pe Premier League appearance was in May 2009 against Arsenal he replaced four Manchester United in this game it was set a new record for the longest gap between appearance in the competition's history. My night star Cristiano Ronaldo last Premier League goal came 12 years on 124 days ago against Manchester City in May 2009. Assuming he scores again for the Red Devils. Only one player has ever had a longer gap between man between Premier League goals. Matt Jackson 13 years and 187 days between May 1993 and November 2006. Manchester, Manchester United Cristiano Ronaldo have scored 48 hat tricks in all competition in his club career. The first of three of these came out against Newcastle in the Pen Pen League match in. Match in Oh yeah. Oh, true. Oh, commission. Oh, yeah. Oh, basically, I'm 
match in January 2008, missing Greenwood have scored in each of the Manchester United three Premier pem, pem, League games so far this season. Oh, it's fell off but not too much. Okay, I, I take that. Okay, my prediction will be a 3 0 win to the legend to Manchester United. Why that lesson player shot out there? 3 0 victory to Manchester United so far because we, we are glad to see Cristiano Ronaldo is coming back to or suffered. So I was surprised him when I went to the Cristiano Ronaldo's team. Let's go so far this season and let's kick on. Next game is oh, this is a tough one. Leicester City game, Manchester City. So here's a fact though Man City lost a few games against uh, Leicester City with a 5 2 defeat to Leicester. And so far, and they beat. In a final, uh, in this summer, so but that's only also let you just beat my second city 5 2 in a long time ago in a Premier League at 2020. I think it was, yeah. So they, they lost a few games against Leicester City with a 5 2 defeat and a 1 0 defeat in a final of, of a FA Community Shield. So, but, but that's okay, all right, that club. So let's keep going with that. So it's quite tough to compare them. So, match back. None of the last 11 league meetings between Leicester and Manchester City has finished as a draw with the Foxes winning for four two days in season seven. Man City have won the last two away league games against Leicester. That's winning more. Because she could have away against the Foxes b between 1934 and 1955, five in a row. Leicester have, have won three of the last five Premier League home games against Virginia Champions beating Liverpool 3 1 last season of all Premier League fixtures. 12 being played at last 20 times. Leicester versus Manchester City is the only one to have been won by away side over 50% of the time 11 away wins in 20 games. There's one won the Leicester last 2023 20, Premier League games has ended level. Meanwhile, the Foxes are looking to win both for the, the first two home games in the Tough Light campaign for this first season. Since 1966-67, Man City lost uh, away in the games for 2020-21. And their first away game this season have lost just on the previous 20 on the of the Premier League. They uh, lost both of the first two away games in single Premier League campaign since 2007. Good fact, guys. Maybe I'll go for Man City. Because uh, so did that because they lost the twenty twenty uh Premier League against Leicester was five two, but that's unreal. So I I will come back with it when I will go for two one win to Man City. Uh yeah two one, yeah, defense gonna win. So two one win to Man City, but not too much. Next game is Brentford up against Brighton Hope Abbey. Well, I think it's easy for Brighton, but, but, but I don't know what Brentford will beat them. So, so the Seagulls and the. But, but I don't know. Yeah. Nice fact. This will be the first two top flight between Brentford and Brighton. With the size having previously already met in second, third, or fourth towers of English league football, Button have won just won the last nine away league games against Benford with with the first visit since a three three draw in February twenty seventeen. Benford have lost just one of the last six league meetings with Brighton, remaining unbeaten. Against the Seagulls, the last time they faced in the 2016-17 championship campaign, but remained unbeaten in the three 
Premier League games so far, excluding the meeting campaign of 1992-93. The only team to remain on, on in, in the first four games in the competition are Pushman and so Tottenham 3 4. So, a good fact, guys. But not too much. I think we're back in showing us, but I don't. But I don't know what prediction will be. Uh, this could be a a draw. I think. Uh, wait, what position are they? Ah, but not too far, okay. So, I think back, but I'm so far, but 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 like I said, we're doing. But but not too much. So I I would say. I mean, 2 nil, Maybe 2 nil. I don't know. I'm confused. So, maybe, maybe I'll go for 3 nil or 2 nil. Yes. Could be a draw, so I would say 1-1. One, one. I have to give up. I'm going to say 1-1. One, one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, so uh, I would say 2 uh, nil win. No, 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 I forgot. Okay. I just my prediction, so guys. 3 uh, nil win, 2 button hole, hole having. Uh, uh, to beat them, I was at 3-0. Next game is West Ham against Southampton. Um, the Saints against the Hammers. I'm lo I'm looking to forward to set up match. Match facts, guys. So, guys, uh, the Friday for the do you know what the Friday forecast is in month one month people. So it's like a decade ago. They were showing lots of videos in a long time ago and uh, their season so far, so and making off the f f final seed like that. So let's kick into the game. Mass fact so Southampton have lost two of their last three home league games against West Ham, as many as they had in the previous season against the Hammers, St. Mary, the Dell, the Dell. West Ham have won six of the last seven Premier League meetings with Southampton scoring 15 goals and considering just a twice in a one five clean seats. West Ham have won more Premier League games against Southampton 19 than they have against any other opponent in a cup competition. Meanwhile, the Hammers have only scored more goal, more Premier League goals against the Castle and Tottenham. 60 and Tottenham 60 and they have a against Saints 58. Southampton have just kept one just one clean sheet in the last twenty four Premier League games. Considering the last considering the each of the last fourteen since the twenty one against Sheffield United in March. It's the longest one with with the clean sheet is the Competition since September 2016-16 game, so that, that's my fuck, guys. Uh, 3-1 to West Ham. I think will be a good deal to win, so I'll say 3-1 to, to the Hammers. 3-1. Next game is Chelsea against Aston Villa. Ooh, I think we're Chelsea should win this because... Uh, they have a retire with between my team against the other team. I might just that one. But they still lie. But they have, have to keep winning on these. So, my spots. Ch Chelsea have lost just one. The last 16 home league game against Aston Villa. Going down 3-1 in December 2011. Aston Villa won the last Premier League meetings. With Chelsea winning two one on the final day of the last season, they not, they've not won consecutive three games against the Blues since October nineteen ninety three. Under one addition, since Thomas Tuchel's first game in the charge of Chelsea, only Manchester City fifty one have one more Premier League points than the Blues forty five. The Blues also have the meanest defence in that one, including the Pumori sides, which has 14 goals considered. Aston Villa won on three of the last of the six 
Premier League games in London last season. As Matthew Drew, Alison Mallis in the previous 29 top players games in the capital. Well, Chelsea have won 599 pound Premier League games. And would be calm. The second team to reach 600 in the car competition with the victory here, Manchester United, 60 89. Six. So, my person would be a. Do, 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 do. Uh, 3 1. Maybe. 3 1 win. The Chelsea. I would say 2 1, but. But. Just three guess. I, I, I'm going to go for the same score. 3 1. On first time. Next game is. Get ready. Jumbo, please. Is. Jumbo, come on. And the game is. Ladies goes Liverpool. Hey, I'm looking forward to see my club to win this league because the tie is fine. So the book, so so the book clubs won it. So do you know uh some clubs ha have, have a tie. So that so that means two 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 clubs wins because, but but, but they have to decide of the the three points in the league table, so it depends gonna win. But but still good game. But the same club still win, for the same club. As a tie, but that doesn't matter. So let's get into the game. Leeds United against Liverpool. So. I disagree with the 1-1 in the Friday forecast because it's not a good idea. So I'm looking forward for Liverpool to face Leeds United. So let's have a look at the facts. Most facts. After winning both league meetings against in against Liverpool in 2 first of 1, 2 of snobs. Two hundred thousand. Two of one. Two of four snob. Okay, I give up. Okay, let's try again. Two thousand of. One, Leeds are ringless in the last eight against in the Reds in the Premier League. Liverpool had the loss of the last nine away league games against Leeds, going on down a four three in November. To two function of with Mark Fadjuka and their team all the four goals full of heights. Liverpool have only failed to score in one of the last twenty two meetings with Leeds. In all competition, finding the net in each of the last 15 against the Whites since a uh, good draw at Elan World in April 1999. After winning the last four games of the 2021 campaign, Leeds are with our win, win so far this season. They've not failed to win any of the last first four games at Tough Light campaign since 1958 59. Under Bill Lampton, Leeds are unbeaten in the last seven Premier League home games. The longest run with our defeat at Eden Road in a top flight. Since uh, one of the uh, 15 touchdowns won coming into this weekend games, only Penford 15, 15, 15 are on the longer unbeaten run in England. Four top, top four towers than Liverpool. Thirteen away from our home, Liverpool have won seven of the last eight Premier League matches, including eight of the last four in a row. 
good, 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 good position. So I disagree with the one one. So, but they, but they, they, they mix up with the with the goal. So let's see how many points we have. Uh, that's Four. Okay. My my prediction. We're going to top with a four nil. I think it will be. I can have one win because uh, so the league of the winless so so. They put us went off the eight Premier League, last Premier League games, so I'm I'm li I'm looking up for it. See that, uh, match. So I'm going for a, an easy goal for Liverpool because uh, this is fun. So I would say to Liverpool. Oh, I oh, oh I just did. Funny all, sorry guys. Funny all it is. <laughs> Next game is the last game is Everton against Burnley. It's just a lucky game, but uh, Burnley lost a few games so far this season, but uh, they got tied with a uh, league, so but that's okay. So I'm looking forward for Everton. This game, my tracks after win. After winning the four of the last six Premier League meetings with Burnley, Everton have won just three of the last eight against in the Clarence in the competition. Burnley have two of the last four away league games against Everton, as many as they had in the previous 16 visits to Goodison Park. Since one of the last six league meetings with between and and Everton and Burnley have been drawn with the side winning. Seven each, the one draw is the one came out tougher since last season. 1-1 one, one. after losing four of the first five Premier League away. Gave us on a Monday and concentrating 15 goals in the process in the Clarets have won two of the last three on the road. Keeping a clean sheet all over these games. Our turn has scored seven goals in the three, three Premier League games this season, as many as they had in the last ten games last term. But but last two, so I'm gonna an easy win on them. So uh, I'm going for a three 0 victory to uh, to Everton because do you know why? Burnley lost a few games in this Premier League this season. So, but this but but this is still got a tie. So I'm going to go for a 3 new win to Everton. So there we go. Thanks. So thank you for watching my uh my match today for of my Premier League predictions, guys. I I'm pretty sure I can make fifty likes and comments down below for top four winners to my prediction, guys. So comments down below who win the final, but not but not the final. So. So guys, uh, thanks, uh, thanks for watching uh, my Premier League production. Keep on subscribing. I hope you enjoy the game. I hope you enjoy. So, don't forget, ch ch choose, your, choose your own club, but not my DS, my things to win. So, this is your choice for top four predict to win tomorrow. So guys, Comment, 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 comment from below who win the top four tomorrow. I'm looking forward on tomorrow game. So I hope you enjoy. So I'll say thank you guys for watching my YouTube. Give me 50, 50 likes as you can. So I hope you enjoy the match. I hope you enjoy. I don't forget the chat. I don't forget the Champions League guys. And I'll be out on a Tuesday. I think it was. Yeah. I'll Get ready for, for the first game of the Champions League, and let's get into it. Sorry, guys. So good luck the game, guys. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy this game. I hope you enjoy the fast. 
So the World Four Fantasy is the is for the body forecast. So, but three, but there you go. They have it. So, my permanent prediction is over, guys. So, thanks for watching. Give me a like the next as I can. I can can comment down below your top four winners. Pick out on clubs to win the top four tomorrow. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the match. I hope you enjoy the game and see you at the match of day five. So, guys, so thanks for watching and over and out.